So we push hard off the miss, and then we swing it here, and that should get us a good look. You trying to take my job? <laughs> the way everything's working right now, you think I want to mess with that? Well, let's keep it rolling. Four wins in a row. Let's make it five. Sounds good to me. Let me show you one tweak to that play you were sketching that should give us even more options. See right here? Uh... here on 2K Sports for NBA Basketball. Welcome, everyone. Courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Allie LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. Bay and Capella, they're inside. Murray the two and Griffin the three. And it's Young in at the point guard position. And for the Cavaliers, Okoro and Mobley, your small and power forwards. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's MP in at the center position. Still very early in the regular season. But Grant, what's the most important thing coaches are working on at this stage? You know, at this point, it's all about really just getting your rotation set. Finding which guys work best together. You know, you have to figure out how to maximize the talent you have. Now here's Mitchell. MP, the pass to Okoro. Hey, rejected by Capella. Yep, that one goes. MP. MP's got his second basket. MP being relentless in his approach. It serves him well on the offensive boards. Pass to Capella. Capella, screen on Mitchell. Murray for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. They put up a nice win against Toronto last time out. And I think they were prepared to face pressure D. But that never materialized, so they took advantage. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. Now here's Young. What a tremendous game he played against Boston. And a foul called on MP. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. Young against Garland. From the strike. And it's Capella with the jam. Not a lot of plays drawn up for Capella. So his energy and involvement come from that kind of activity there. Now here's Garland. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Toronto. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. Free throw good, MP. And over the last year, changes for the Hawks on the bench and in the front office. Coach Schneider brought in partway through last season. Back in Utah, he helped establish a dominant defense. Now trying to move the Hawks in a better direction on that end as well. Here's Bay taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. And Young, the bucket on the assist from Bay. And that's a nice pass from Bay, willing to do whatever he can to help his team. Here's Garland. Here's MP. Oh, MP throws it down. Oh, man, can we see that MP dunk again? I mean, whoo. just an awesome display of athleticism on our AT&T 5G slam cam. Young looking for an opening. Capella screen on Garland. Young, the pass to Capella. Outside Young. And he lobs it up. And the slam dunk by Capella. And what timing. Capella getting up there and capping that one off. For Cleveland, they've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. To the inside. Stolen by Capella. Outside Young. Pass to Murray. Back to Young from the arc. Cavaliers with a rebound. This has not been a good quarter right here. Shot has been off the mark, and now it looks, Kevin, like he's pressing a bit. 
Mitchell, the pass to MP. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. MP's got 10. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Here's Capella. MP with the block. Good timing on that rejection. MP throwing himself around on the defensive end. Bay from long range. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be Evan Mobley. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Cavaliers. They've been really going at the defense in the painted area. And so far, the opposition really hasn't had an answer for them. So much good energy and flow tonight. And that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. How about Sadiq Bey, a guy who's growing into a floor spacing threat now, Brent? Yeah, incredibly focused B.A. on developing those skills to be a sniper at the three-point line. He wants to stretch the floor out, and he has to do that consistently by knocking down shots. They get the rebound. MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. MP, he's got it all, putting it on display here tonight. The Hawks have gone four of nine in this one so far. Pass to Capella. The kick out to Young. On the wing, Murray. Back to Young. On the wing, Bay. The teardrop. Mobley grabs the board. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he laid it straight up and in. Let's quickly glance at who in this year's rookie class is leading their group in blocks this season. MP, number one. Most rookies who block a lot of shots also have a hard time staying on the floor. He's been disciplined and he's been good. Yeah, what you like about MP is how hard he worked to put himself in a position for success. Pass to Capella. With the drive. MP with the block. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Young, the pass to Griffin. Outside Young. Six to shoot. On the wing, Bay. The Hawks need to get one up here. And MP just wanting to make something happen on the defensive end. He's actively hunting for stops. Mitchell with the ball. And Capella picks him up defensively. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. Pass to Young. Capella, screen on Garland. Young from long range. Cavaliers with the rebound. MP's got six rebounds here tonight. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And a slam dunk by Capella. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Ooh, Griffin with the steal to the paint. Young, the pass to Capella. Griffin outside. Outside Young. Oh, trying his luck from deep. And here's Mitchell. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. And Atlanta, looking at who they've got. The talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. They and Capella, they're inside. And it's Griffin in at the small forward. Still fairly early on in the season, Richard. How much are these guys worried about production right now? No matter the time of the year, guys are always worried about their production. Look, I remember preseason games where I wasn't playing well and I got frustrated. These guys are still competitive. They're always looking for results. They get the rebound. MP. And he makes it on the layup. MP's got 15. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. When you pile up the blocks earlier in games, it really can affect the other team. They lose confidence offensively. And we also got to mention the work they've done on the offensive glass. Pounding the opposition and coming away with tons of second chance points. Now here's Young. 
His scoring sits at around 31 a game. An impressive number. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burn. Outside Garland. Mobley on a screen. Garland, no good. And so it's Bay who brings up the ball for Atlanta. Here's Murray. And again, it's Atlanta. The Cavs trailing. On the wing, MP. Guarded by Capella. Pass to Garland. To the inside. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Such a well-rounded player. MP with his fingerprints just all over this game. Atlanta's gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Here's Murray. And again, it's Atlanta. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. Cleveland calls timeout. And the Cavaliers will... to November. Let's see how the Eastern Conference standings are shaken out. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Okoro, defended by Griffin. That gives them the lead. Oh, and you know MP is all over their scatter report. But the defense still had no answer on that basket. The Hawks have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Granted, each of the last three seasons, Atlanta has been in the top ten in offensive rating. That's true, B.A., but Atlanta has also been in the box. And in a game this close, they're going to challenge the call. Coach does not agree with it, and he wants them to take another look at the monitor. And even with the coach's challenge in place, we've seen so many of these personal foul calls still disputed. The previous play is under review. The area and a lot of these calls. But at least we have the option to take a second look so the officials can be sure they get it right. The ruling on the floor stands. And they've made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he still peeved. And time for us to check in on the NBA assist leaders over the last 10 games. Second, Trey Young. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. You know, Richard, in 2023, the Cavs reached the playoffs without LeBron James for the first time since 98. B.A., that's the year I graduated high school, and that's just the beginning for this team. The Cavs have drafted well, they've made some big-time trades, and their core players are only getting better. Pass to LeVert. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Here's Bay. Here's Hunter. Another shot. And it's good on the lay-in. Hunter's got seven. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Hawks. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. to Hunter. The baseline J. That's it. Coming off an assist from Young. Hunter's got nine points in the quarter. Yeah, defensively, if you come off someone, Young will find them. Mitchell, the pass to MP. And MP throws it down hard. And MP has his sights set on their fifth win in a row if they get the job done here tonight. With his competitive nature, that's true motivation. Now, when a player like MP helps his team get on a streak, he does not want to see it end. The only stats he cares about are wins. Pass to Hunter. 
Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Thursday, they'll be matching up with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And then on Saturday, they head out on the road to face the Pistons in Detroit. Some might look at this schedule and already mark off how many wins they'll get. But I think that's a mistake. You can never take a night off in the NBA. Even the ones you think will be easy are tough. Mitchell, the pass to MP. Just five to shoot to the middle. It's stolen by Bogdanovich. Pass to Bay. Dunk by Bay. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. Up top, Bay. Pass to Griffin. Clock at six. The Hawks need to get one up here. And here's Hunter for three. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Mitchell finds Levert. Allen with a screen on Bogdanovich. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen has to be in the conversation for the best role man in the league right now. Look, he sets solid screens, and then he's an efficient finisher down low. Atlanta's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Pass to Griffin. Bogdanovich against LeVert. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That'll be a second foul of the game. That's a second, and I think they'll keep him in, but he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Levert. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Capella, he's checked in for Hunter. Shot from 16. Griffin's shot is off. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards. Fighting hard for every miss. Unforced turnovers. They'll drive your coach insane. Rubio's checked in for Mitchell. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Murray's checked in. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. MP. Nice job by MP converting it tight. Ooh, he's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. Atlanta's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Murray passes to Capella. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Capella's got eight points. He's gotten so good at finding the open man. Murray does it again. Pass to MP. Out to Rubio. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. They might start using him a little bit more. And so it's MP making things happen for Cleveland. He put together 10 points in the quarter. Back after this. The Hawks, 59. Yeah, they got to like the look of their next few games. Some soft targets in there. That's no reason to take it easy on them. Got to drop that hammer. Boom, boom. And moving on to the Cavaliers' first half. It's a close one through two quarters. This is why coaches tell their guys, always be ready. We're going to need you. Be ready. And you don't always know which games it'll be. But tonight, they needed scoring from their reserves. Good job, guys. It's kept them in the game. Thanks for tuning in. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? 
the way to limit those offensive boards. It's just effort, guys. Whoever is guarding him has to get to position and beat him to the spot. Mitchell and Okoro, they are the wings. Evan Mobley out there with MP. And it's Garland in at the point guard position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Pass to Murray. Shoots over Mobley. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Such long arms. Mobley is tough to do anything against. Count that bucket. MP's got 29. His energy is unmatched. And all of a sudden, that man was just on the other end. Wow. Bay with a screen on Garland. Here's Young. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Pass to MP. Shoots from 12. And Mobley with the basket on the assist by MP. Now it's a six-point Cleveland lead. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey, Brian, the Hawks made the Eastern Conference Finals in 2021, but now they're looking to return to contention. Trey Young said, quote, we'll be all right. It's really just about us taking care of what we can control and making sure we're ready every night. But if we get into a rhythm, it'll take care of itself. Brian? Yep, great point. All right, Ali, thank you. Just to the shoot. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Becoming a more consistent offensive weapon. So it's Bogdanovich with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. And that'll be game four of this six-game stretch on the road. And the Hawks, looking at who they've got. Young runs point with Bogdanovich at the two. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Johnson. And it's Fernando in at the center position, locking down the middle. The shot by Johnson, no good. The Cavaliers leading. Rubio passes to Allen. Deflected! Here's Young. And here's Bogdanovich. Johnson finds Young. Back to Johnson. Rubio with a steal. Down low. Here's MP. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the defense knows they got to cover MP very close. But he gets physical and exploits the coverage there for a foul. And the second free throw is good. You know, the Cavs have done a nice job rebuilding since the end of the second LeBron era, Richard. Now, it took a few years, B.A., but yes, the front office has found some quality talent in the draft. Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and they've made aggressive moves getting Donovan Mitchell that helped them get back into the postseason. We like seeing Bogdanovich get it done inside. An opportunistic score around the rim. Rubio passes to MP. Fernando grabs the miss. The Hawks trailing. Bogdanovich with it. Guarded now by Mitchell. No good from outside. That's his shot. The one I'm sure he wants back. To the paint. MP hammers it down. Sharing the love. If you get yourself this open, Mitchell will set you up. The Hawks have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Outside Johnson. Pass to Bogdanovich. The kick out to Johnson. Pocket four. And they get it back. Emphatic defense from MP. That'll fire up the bench for sure. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Coro's checked in. And the change for the Hawks. Capella's checked in. MP, the pass to Mitchell. Back to MP. And the lamp is good off the glass. MP's got 34. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. And the Hawks call time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. All right, let's get a report from Allie. 
Hey guys, well, Quinn Snyder was just reviewing the plane with the team. He did his best to light a fire under them, saying, we have to fight. Now is the moment we have to come out of this deficit swinging. Guys? Okay, thank you, Allie. With the 10-footer. Oh, MP with a block. And pushing it up, here's Cleveland. The pull-up. And there's Mitchell on the assist by MP. Mitchell. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. All right, let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for Cleveland. All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second chance points. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to MP. It's Levert on the wing. Gets the three ball to go. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. The kick out to Young. Back to Johnson. Bogdanovich against Levert. Capella, screen on Levert. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. And a miss layup. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Pass to Mitchell. Inside. And the basket by MP. MP's got nine points here in the second half. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Now Bogdanovich. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. That's his first turnover of the game, and that only goes to show how well he's taking care of the ball to this point. Rubio's checked in for Levert. Outside Mitchell. To the middle. Oh, and the dunk by MP. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. Love it. And guys, to go on a big run, get some breathing space. It has to be a great play on each end. Here's Capella. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Back to MP. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. MP's got 40 points. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Pass to Bay. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And it's Murray with the ball for the Hawks. The kick out to Young. Bay, no good. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. That free throw is good for Mitchell. And collectively, as the game has progressed, they've been shooting really well from the charity strike. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Rubio. Count it. Nice feed by MP, a popular guy in this locker room. With the assist. Here's Murray. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Young looking for an opening. Screen by Capella. Takes one from 10 feet. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one's on Darius Garland. So much talk about what should be done with the regular season, RJ. Yeah, players and teams have kind of really started downplaying the importance of the regular season, but not the smart ones. Part of that is, you know, the media obsession with rings and ring counting. But the regular season matters, and I do not believe that they should shorten it at all. And when healthy, Levert is a problem. A multi-dimensional guard who can score, pass, and rebound at an impressive clip. When talking about Karis Levert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. <laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Pass to Murray. Fires from deep. Getting it to fall there. He's 8 of 15 in the game. Won this half. Two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. And he lobs it up top. Stolen by Capella. Now here's Young. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. 
Young's got 10 points in just the second half. Nice work inside from Young. Not afraid of trying his luck down there. Levert passes to MP. Here's Wade. Back to MP. Pass to Mitchell. MP, a screen on Griffin. Mitchell misses. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. With the step back. Mitchell against Murray. Five on the clock. Ooh, solid defense from Mitchell. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Love her. That's good. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. Tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us, you know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately headed. Jackson, he's checked in for the Cavs. Jerome comes in for Donovan Mitchell. Here's Young. It's rebounded by Wade. How did he break that one? He smoked it. Everything was set up for that to be an easy basket. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And that's going to send MP to the free throw line. That one on Murray. LaVert's checked in for Cleveland. MP. One shot. Free throw good. MP. Yeah, what you like about MP is how hard he worked to put himself in a position for success. Pass to Capella. And a foul called on MP. That'll be foul number five on him. And just wasn't able to set up in time. Here's Young. On the wing bay. To the inside. Capella. It's good. He's six for 12 from the floor. And what do you know? Capella with the high percentage look. <laughs> That's his motto. Rubio against Young. Screened by MP. Rubio passes to MP. To the paint. Stolen by Capella. On the break. Here's Griffin. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got assist number five here tonight. Young against Rubio. Levert outside. Now here's Rubio. He's guarded closely. Down low. He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Cavaliers. So it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous... Five wins in a row now. What do you think's the main reason for all that success? Um, we're playing really well as a unit right now. Everybody's working together. If a guy cuts, he knows the ball's gonna find him if he's open. You know, there's no egos there. On defense, it's like you've got one mind, which lets you adjust on the fly as a team. Now you've got five guys guarding one man with the ball, and um, that gives you a big leg up. So I say that's the biggest thing. Yep, working together.